if you haven't seen me before this is my channel um i just wanted to come on here and make a quick video because i did something super exciting about a month ago and i just got letter back and i'm super excited because this is something that i've thought about doing before but i was i had no clue how so um let's get straight into the video so i can tell you guys what i did so um i let about a month ago i think it was like beginning of june it might it was a little bit over a month ago actually so i decided that i wanted to write someone in prison and i only like found this website because i was watching one of the crime documentaries on netflix i love crime documentaries those are my thing i will watch those all day long so i was watching one of them i don't remember oh i don't remember what it's called i'll put it on the screen but it's the one where they talk about like the forensic evidence and all that and i really like that my major in school right now is forensic psychology so that stuff is so interesting to me so yeah so i was watching that one because you know netflix started coming out with all these bomb shows since COVID came it's like they knew COVID was coming around or something because they had these documentaries lined up and ready to go netflix is sketchy but anyways so i was watching that documentary and one of the women that was on there talking about her husband who is a prisoner mind you he was he's been in prison for a while so i was like well how did they meet so she says that she found him on this website called writeaprisoner.com and i was like huh like i never heard of that have you guys heard of that i don't know but yeah so she said she went on this website and she ended up like writing him and they fell in love and they got married and all this other stuff um but so when i heard about it i was like is that real so i looked it up and it's it's real so i went on there checked it out i was a little hesitant at first i was like i don't know if i want to do this but i really have been so interested in the prison population for years now since i got into college and i just i feel so passionate about you know helping people change and getting rehabilitation and uh, the american prison system is just trash but you gotta get into all that but it's just i've always like wanted to help people who are getting out of prison or people who are in prison just you know everybody makes mistakes yes some of them are very bad mistakes but some people can change and i really truly believe that and i believe that everyone should be given the chance to change whether you're still in prison or you get out i've always wanted to write a prisoner because i feel like i just want to make someone's day you know some people are just they've been sitting there for so long and they're gonna be there for the rest of their life and if i can do something to help someone make their day a little bit better then i really would love to do that so that's why I wanted to do this and I was like you know what? I'm gonna do it I was kind of hesitant but I did it I was just like whatever I'm gonna do it do it you know if they don't reply they don't reply whatever at least you try so what you do is you go on the website you can scroll through they have like a whole bunch of profiles up there um and the inmates they pay to put their profile up there so that people will find them and write them so um yeah you could just scroll on there pick people that you want to that you're interested in or just like click on people look their profile they have like a little bio in there it could tell y'all about them and then they also have a section where you can see what the person did and how long they'll be in prison so you know i was on there for a little while um trying to figure out who i wanted to write of course there's a lot more men on there than there are women and it they tell you that it's not supposed to be for dating but i'm assuming some people use it for that i personally was not trying to use it for that i just wanted to you know make a friend and be a friend to someone be a listening ear um so i yeah i went through all of the people that they had not all of them 
there's a lot of people in there anyways i went through a lot of the people that they had on there went through like what they did how long they'll be in there you know just seeing who like i thought would fit with me reading their bios and stuff so then i found this man not gonna say his name but so I found him, he seemed like a really cool guy. It seemed like he was friendly, like he was really looking for a pen pal because he's been there for a while and he just is in a dark place and he just wants people to talk to. So I was like, okay, this sounds like something I would like to do. Somebody that I would like to talk to. So I got on there, I emailed him. Let me go back real quick. So when you're on there, you can also see like what service they use for you to contact them through. So for example, some of them use JPay and they're like, oh, contact me on JPay. But in order to do JPay, you have to pay to send them a letter. And I believe they also have to pay. So for JPay, you both have to pay. For the one that I did, it's called Core Links. I think that's what it was called. So for that one, the inmate just has to pay. You don't have to pay which I'm fine with paying, but I this was my first time trying it. So I was like, well, I don't wanna pay and then like, I'm not doing it right or, you know, just anything. So I don't think it's expensive, but anyways, I used the one where you didn't have to pay called Core Links and you basically can send, I think it was like three to five, something in that area, emails per month to the person. That, and um, and then they pay, they pay to, I don't know, they pay for something. But, you know, at first I was like, well, I don't want them to have to pay. But then I realized, like, they put their profile out there because they want people to talk to you. So they're okay with paying. So that's the one I chose. So I didn't have to pay anything. I just automatically was able to send him an email. Um, so, yeah, I did this, like, a month and a half ago. It was a while ago. So I've been waiting for, you know, a response. And I was like, well, maybe he's not going to email me back. Like, that's fine, you know. At least I tried but i was just in the kitchen working and i realized that i had a letter in our little mailbox in the kitchen so i got so excited and i read the letter here it is i'm not gonna read it to you guys but i'm really excited that he wrote back and he basically told me that i made his day writing him and he was so happy and you know just told me a little bit about himself and his life so i'm super excited that he wrote back and i'm about to write him back again um and hopefully you know keep his spirits lifted while he's there and you know trying to get through it so i'm really excited and i just wanted to come on here and share that with you guys because i thought that it was something that was so interesting and I just really love making people's day better and you know I try to do whatever I can to help whenever I can and um, I really think this is a cool way to do that um, and you know uh, there was there's probably some hesitations people have about it because I know at first I was kind of concerned because you have to put your address in and I was like mm, well do I really want to give someone that I don't know first of all my address um, but then I realized, you know, if, you know, a lot of the times they're not really going to be worried about coming out and like finding you like, and then also like for the guy that I picked, he's going to be in there for a while. So by the time he gets out, I probably won't even be living here in the first place. Not that I'm saying he would try to stalk me. I'm not saying that at all, but I won't even be in this address. So I was like, you know, if that's what's holding me back, that's not a big deal. I ain't even going to be here no more. So, yeah, so if you guys are interested, I think you guys should really do it. This really could help somebody out. You never know. So, yeah, I thought that was really interesting and I wanted to let more people know about it because I know that when I told, like, some of my friends, they were like, oh, I had no clue that you could do that. Like, is that real? And I was like, mm, we'll see. But it is because I got my letter. But all right, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something new. And I really, really, really hope that this would inspire other people to send letters to inmates because I know that they need it. Um, I've never been to jail, but it can be a big toll on your mental health and people make mistakes. Bye, see you guys on the next video.